Hello everybody, my name is Zeher Turgan and today we're playing some more Fallout 4. I can't figure out how to fit, how to get around this place. There should be a freaking elevator around here somewhere. Ah, uh, there should be an elevator, mind you. I just am too stupid to find it. Ammo box, perfect. Got it. I never liked that. Okay. Lock tight. Hmm. Seriously, this is the most annoying thing ever. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm gonna try one thing. So, don't look down on me. I know it's cheating, but I kind of, I kind of had to. All right. So what I just did, guys, is a cheat where you can basically pass through things. It's a. Uh, How should I put it? It, it basically, it, it's ba it's basically what it does is. Oh fuck! Okay. Basically, what it does is it just toggles the collision off. Uh, allows me to pass through walls and such. But I don't use it unless absolutely necessary. Like, no idea where I'm going necessary. I kinda like now. What the fuck? Maybe I just gone around the entire time? There was no reason for me to fucking damn bitch ass. No. <sighs> that makes me mad. Oh well. See guys, I didn't really cheat cheat, I just figured out how to do things. Yeah. But, I guess we're taking the elevator now. That's one way to deal with things. And then Piper will suddenly pop up somewhere. For sure, because that's how these elevator works, because nobody really thought of themselves. See? She just pops up in the middle of nowhere. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. Oh, uh, that's I a synth. It. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Hmm. Must be pretty exhausting. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. That's sure true too. It can be scary knowing what's really out there. That's a trip mine. <laughs> the night doesn't go by. I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it because I know the truth. That's what protects us. It's true. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting life. That's a definitely a trip rider. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, 
We grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. <laughs> well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Good job, Piper. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So... Should we head out? Kellogg. Free for the taking. Yes, this is it. Yeah. So, what if I was? Of course. Come here, come here. No. Looking for something specific? Uh, not really. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. No, I'm not gonna leave. Can I fix my place up? It's nice now. Got a dog. Couple weird roommates, but yes, I got a dog. Cogsworth has been keeping the house very clean, mind you. Don't believe he's been doing 100% the best. Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Really? I gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, Figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Hostile sensor reading. It's hey. Attacking enemy. <gasps> Sorry about that, Piper. So, uh, this isn't going well. Uh, let's see, let's see. This, and this, and that. Whew! 
back, Piper. Succeed, mind you. What the fuck was that? I always, uh, mind you, I don't always succeed, but you know, try and try as you will. Come on, Piper, this way. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Shanka hat? What's an Shanka hat? Button it is to zoom out. I can look at myself. Anyway. Dang it. Boom. Just like that. Money. Just money. Oh, wait. Stand back. Perfect. Let's cover your flanks. That was easy. And there's another fusion cell.
Oh, they didn't call it quantum. That's good. That's a weird light. You got guts and determination. It's yeah. Admirable. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Really? Stop. Too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. <clears throat> That's something interesting about me. I don't have that option. So I don't give myself that option. Do you want to know I don't give myself that option? Because usually I regret turning around. Okay. That's it. Wait. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Give me my That's the hat. Give me Sean! No! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But what if do you're you hoping mean? for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen, pal. The boy's not here. Where is he? God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where? Whoa. Is my son. What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. No, we don't. So. You ready? Are you? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you?
much! Damn it! Fudge oh, monkeys, this is gonna take forever. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Guys, I actually gotta go. Well, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya! Motherfucker, what the hell? God damn it! I know this game and I still got scared! <laughs>